it's Brew McEwen. Welcome back. Today on the menu, we are doing chicken drumstick lollipops, which is kind of one of the new things in barbecuing. We're going to do it with a little bit of a twist here, though. Uh, the base is going to be pretty simple. We're going to do, uh, we're just going to lollipop, and we'll show you how to do that right now. But we're going to do just a little bit of avocado oil and some Big Cock Ranch bullshit seasoning. This stuff goes with everything. It's great. It's going to add a nice little base flavor to this. The story behind what I'm about to tell you came from, I don't know, <laughs> stupidity. I went in to do just some like regular buffalo style, you know, drums. And this just happened to be sitting next to the buffalo sauce. It is chamoy. It's like a Mexican candy, the kind of rim, you know, margaritas or Bloody Marys with it. it it's got a nice sweet, sour flavor to it. And then on top of that, we're gonna go with some tahini, which is like a chili pepper salt kind of seasoning that's really good on fruit and uh, same thing with Bloody Marys and stuff like that. I did a batch of these the other day. It sounds a little weird, absolutely incredible. So let's get to it, okay? So the way that you're gonna cut into these is you're basically just gonna cut right around here and this is getting rid of a lot of those tendons that people normally you know, end up shying away from, from drums because of that. And then you just wanna make sure you're all the way kind of around to the bone here. And then what I like to do is you just kind of peel it back. And just kind of lift it over that knuckle. You can use your knife here to kind of clean up whatever uh, is still there. Just kind of clean up the rest of the meat. And there you have it. A nice little... Uh, little drumette thing here. So what we're gonna do now is so that we can let it sit on top of the uh, grill nice and flat, you just kind of trim off the end right here like this. And now you can let it sit up in the grill. So I'm gonna get you know the rest of these taken care of. We're gonna dredge them like I said with a little bit of olive oil or avocado oil, sorry. <laughs> we're gonna dredge a little bit of avocado oil, we're gonna dust it with that bullshit seasoning and then we're gonna get on the smoker. See you guys in a few. All right, so we got them all done, we got them in a bowl here. They look incredible, I mean, there's a little bit of extra prep time that goes into this, you know, like, but with the presentation, if you're having a party or something like that, well worth it. Everybody's, it's definitely got a little wow factor to it, okay? So, like I said, we got these prepped. We're going to go with avocado oil. We're just going to drizzle it on, get a nice coat going, and then, like I said, we're going to go with the uh, bullshit seasoning here from Big Cock Ranch. It's got a nice earthy flavor to it. Get a little bit of celery in there. Um, so we'll just kind of mix these up a little bit into the oil. And this is going to add that nice foundation because, you know, if we just did the chamoy and the tahini, it might be a little too sweet. This is going to add a nice savory note to this. All right, I think, I think we're good here. So this is what we got. These will be going on the uh, Yoder. We got it fired up. We're going to be doing uh, about 315 degrees. We got the diffuser plate in. We're doing it over in Skeet. And we're just going to let it go kind of low and slow. I'm expecting about 45 minutes and we'll pull it at about 175 degrees. I know 165 is what you're looking for with a, you know, with a chicken breast, but with the bone in, you want it a little bit higher. It'll still be just as juicy. So let's get these things on the Yoder. See you guys in a few. All right. So here we go. Like I said, we've got our chicken set up here, right? We're just going to set it up on the top shelf here, and the reason we're not doing the uh, the tahini and the chamoy first is because the sugars in that will caramelize too much. We're going to do it right at the end, just kind of like hit a nice little caramelization at the end. We don't want it to burn or anything like that. So we'll get these all set on here. There you have it. They're going to be awesome. They're going to be amazing. Uh, we'll see you guys in about 45 minutes. All right, so here we go. We just hit 175, 174 on most of them. Uh, we got now the chamoy is coming out as well as the tahini. What we're gonna do here is I just poured the chamoy just to make it easy into a cup here. We're just gonna pull the uh, pull the thing out, just kind of dip it really quickly. These are a little hot, so you wanna exercise a little caution. But you're just gonna get a nice little uh, dip in here with this. Get it nice and coated. We'll do these for everything and then we'll just kind of dust it with that tahini and that'll add 
just a bit of savory saltiness to the, the sweet salty or sweet sour of the uh, chamoy. The color of these things comes out bright red and it's a pretty cool little color. Makes for a nice presentation, you know? All right, we have all those done. So now we'll take the tahini here and we'll just kind of sprinkle over everything. And this is really salty, so you want to be kind of, you don't want to dredge it, you know, drench it too much in this stuff. But you are going to get a lot of flavor from this, so you, you definitely want to make sure that you have it on there. All right, I think we're good. These are gonna look amazing. We're gonna shut this down here, let it just kind of finish off cooking for, you know, let the sugars kind of caramelize a little bit. About another five minutes maybe, we'll pull these off and uh, check them out. Now that we're letting these caramelize just a little bit, it's my favorite part of the day. Beer of the day, we are doing Coronado Brewings and uh, Salty Crew, which is like a clothing company out here. Uh, it's a boat beer. It's a four and a half percent Blondale. Uh, super drinkable, uh, perfect for a hot day like this. All right. A little foamy, but it's got a nice golden color to it. Like I said, nice, nice light, refreshing beer, kind of along the lines of like a Firestone Walker 805 if you've had that. It's kind of the same style. Uh, I eat a lot of the maltiness through it. It's not a super hoppy beer, but but a nice malty beer. So uh, cheers. And with that, without further ado, it is time for these guys to come out. So as I said, these are now perfectly done. You can see the bright red ah, color on it as I drop it. Let's go this way. See the bright red color on it. The uh, flavors in these are gonna be like I said, you're going to get a lot of the sourness. You're going to get a lot of the, a little bit of the salty, a little bit of that uh, base of the uh, the bullshit seasoning, which, you know, that stuff I, I love on everything. Uh, so, yeah, we'll take these off. All right, here we are. We got these. Let's give this bad boy a try here, huh? Yeah, like I said, you get a bit of the sweetness as well as the sour. You get a lot of sour, actually. It's basically like a Mexican candy in a chicken. It's perfect in my eyes. Um, I guarantee you will not be disappointed with these. Make these for your next party. Everybody will love them. Thanks for showing up. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe. We will uh, appreciate any thumbs up and any comments you guys are uh, willing to give. We'll see you guys next time and uh, have a good one.